Is this CM Punk thing real, as in he's going to be matched up with a real MMA fighter when he hasn't done any MMA? Um, he will probably fight someone who's like 1-0, 0-1, 0-0. Is that uh, good? For the sport? Honestly? Here's my take on it. It's interesting because it gets people to watch. It's interesting because it gets a guy who's a very high profile, very famous guy, and you put him in uh, you know, a situation where he's going to fight in the number one organization in the world. But should he be able to fight in the number one organization in the world in his first fight? Honestly, no. Yeah. He's in there because he's famous. It's a little so, insulting to guys who work their way up to the UFC in a way. I mean, Kind you know. of, but... On the flip side, it's a lot of attention that's going to be uh, shown to the UFC, and yeah, it'll up the profile. Star. He's a huge star. Yeah, and but so that, he is... earned, I think, his right because of his celebrity status and the, the eyes he could bring to the sport. He earned his right See, to I don't agree shot. with that. I mean, the reason I don't agree with that is because the UFC is a fighting organization where you go to see the most elite fighters in the world, and and that's what made its name, and that's why you love watching it. Who's the toughest dude in the world? And so when you have someone like CM Punk, who's now put in the octagon as a sideshow, you could say the same thing. If you're going to if you're going to put CM Punk, then let's get Brad Pitt in there, and have him train and fight somebody else as well. There are a lot of actors that train, you know, and there are a lot of high profile profile people that train that aren't anyway that's close legit. to professional fighters. Mm -hmm. And so for me, that's just how I feel about the octagon itself. It's just I just feel like and I understand there's a marketing aspect to it. But I do think in many ways it is, it is somehow – when you look at the UFC, you can say, well, it's, it's entertainment. It's more than entertainment. It, in my opinion, it's, it's, a, it's a great sport at its peak, and that's how I feel about MMA because I think to be a good MMA fighter, and I've seen – I've watched what Brendan puts himself through. It just takes everything, everything. And th that's why I think that, that area – um, and what makes the UFC and what makes MMA so special at that level is detracted from. And then maybe I'm being too much of a purist and it's fine that he's fighting in there, but I just, I, I don't know. I just, I don't like it. Well, it's different than Brock Lesnar because Brock Lesnar was a, a NCAA yeah. Division One All-American yeah. national badass. champion, super fucking stud wrestler. That's right. Undeniable stud wrestler who they would have let him in the UFC if had zero um, experience in the WWE, but then he came over as a superstar already, like CM Punk, but way more dangerous. Oh, yeah, I mean, he, and, and he's did a, really well. Elite, it's not even comparable. Yeah, not even comparable. he's an elite, elite athlete. I mean, he right. he's a freak of nature. His fucking giant fire hydrant head and his, you know, <laughs> he's got a fucking he's got a horse neck. I mean, he's, he's a horse neck. He's yeah. a ridiculous human being. So he would have fought in the UFC no matter what. CM Punk. If if you took a guy who's is he a white belt in jujitsu? I think he's a white belt under Henner and Huron. Brandon, you might know. I mean, he's got a couple of stripes on his he, white belt. He never wears a belt, you know. So it's I've tough. seen him he's, wear a white belt. He, true. Well, he only puts on a white belt when he's at the academy because mm -hmm. he, he doesn't train enough consistently. Like he trains when he's on the road or Henner right. go to him. So technically, we don't know what. So belt maybe he's he a blue is. belt. Maybe he's a purple belt. Let's say he's a purple belt. Has he had any striking? He says he has a background in Kempo. That was his exact words. Well, he has that's, a background that's in Kempo. usually no good in something called the Octagon. Well, it's okay if you're fucking Stephen Wonderboy sure. Thompson. Sure, he's you not. Know? If you're, uh, when, you get, you know, when I hear Yodo people say Machida. I have a background in Kempo, that's like me saying I got a background in wrestling. I do. Yeah. I wrestled in high school and I was good. Mm -hmm. I got a background in high school wrestling. I'm good. I can pull a switch. Got a mean, mean double and single if I'm wrestling a guy who's of my caliber. Who I sucks. Mean, yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, come on. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what he's capable of doing. You know, but the guy has the balls to get in there at his high profile a status and fight on TV, on pay-per-view, or on Fox, or wherever the fight's going to be. It takes a lot of balls to do that, that, and he must have at least some uh, understanding of what it is takes i mean i don't know i mean he doesn't know what weight he's gonna fight at he doesn't know what camp he's gonna train at i asked him a few of those questions when i was interviewing him my, I my advice was was for him was not to announce so soon train do a full camp without a fight and see how you feel and see how you stack up with even just some lower level amateur guys mm -hmm. or even a guy with one or two fights well, and then, also take and a couple take shots it, to and the face. And then take it from there. Yeah, I don't know that some people know what it's like to get hit by a professional fighter in the face, even with headgear and a bar. He also doesn't know what it's like 
<laughs> the being in the circus of the UFC. Right. There's no, yeah, there's no, there's not going to be any amateur, you know, it's like it's you're in the lonely. UFC now, when they tell you to fight, you're going to fight. Well, I think they're going to give him a, a, an opponent with a commensurate amount of experience. I think the idea is they're going to treat him like a, an individual project. So right. They're not going to say, you're a UFC fighter now. I mean, Michael Bisping offered to fight him. <laughs> Which is kind of fucking hilarious. Michael Bisping would and murder rude. him. <laughs> yeah, it's rude. It's rude if Michael what? Bisping. What is but he? I think Michael Bisping was probably laughing about it. I'll fight him. Bring him over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. I mean, he should fight. You know, be I a think good everyone opponent. wants to fight him. You know, it'd be a great yeah. opponent for him. Chris Angel. Chris Angel knows magic, <laughs> and and he does some kung fu. So let's get him to fight Chris uh, Angel. I'll pay seriously good money for oh, that. It's that tough for fight. me, man, because if, if he wasn't, you know, in the Gracie family, yeah, I would. Probably roast the guy pretty. You'd be pretty opening rough. your mouth a little more. But right I'm, now. I'm being cool because I had a hero. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, you know, it's it's gonna be it's it'll be interesting. I just don't know. I don't think it belongs in the UFC. I think it belongs in celebrity fights. It's you entertainment, know? though. Okay, but we got a new pink elephant. Yeah, but pink elephants in the UFC have always been skilled fighters. C- Conor McGregor is a classic example of a guy who is a national champion. You're talking in boxing. about a different pink. Now you're talking about a pink elephant with gold earrings. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. CM Punk. He's, yeah. You can put Ronda, uh, freaking your boy Conor, all them together, and CM Punk is more famous. He's that big. He's that. Yeah. The, that that's how beast. out of touch I am with yeah. pop culture. I never watched. Professional you know, I don't wrestling. even like wrestling. I don't even know. But who I he know is. who he is. All right, let's see how many Twitter followers he has. That's a, a good indication. <laughs> see, uh, okay, Punk. let's guess. Like one. And I hear he's a great guy. I'd say he's right? awesome. He's awesome, a great dude. guy. Awesome dude. Yeah. How many do you think? I don't one point seven million. One point seven million? Does he really have that that's many? That's a lot of. Or two, lot. I'd say at least two point three million. Two point three million Twitter. So followers. he has almost a million more Twitter followers than me. Jeez, he has more. He's more followers than the entire UFC. God. So you sign him, he beats up Billy Badass, who just got off Kinkos with a two stripe white belt, and everyone's going to tune in. Yeah. You wouldn't sign him. I mean, if you're Dana White, I I would have to have a conversation about what my brand is. I mean, I, I yes, I know I would not. The answer is I would not sign him, and I don't agree with the decision. And I don't. And I think if you're going for popularity, then you're losing sight of what people tune into the UFC for. In yeah, but opinion. it's also like an eye opener. I mean, you you take a guy like that and you throw him in there against a really good Muay Thai fighter, and he gets fucking head <laughs> yeah. kicked. Yeah, but I mean, go, oh, it's called murder. This is the difference. They're not going to do that. They're not going to do that. Because you want that guy to win. Well, here's the deal. You want that guy to win. But when you have zero fights, zero fights, no real wrestling background, doesn't have a a real competitive wrestling background, doesn't have a competitive karate background, doesn't have a competitive boxing background. Not a good sign. He doesn't have a black belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. He doesn't have, you know, all these things are not there. So the reality is anyone who also has aspirations to be a professional MMA fighter even a person who's zero and zero, they might be able to do that to him. You know, I know a lot of dudes who have zero professional fights. And you watch that motherfucker hit the pads. You watch some guy, to that bang, to that bang. No professional fights. Got a whip for a kick. Yeah. Vicious fucking left hook and yeah. a right hand. Oh, my brother would beat up half the WWE right now. <laughs> I bet. And he works for Microsoft. Yeah. He beat the shit out of half the WWE. Yeah. Well, think about Steroids that. Steroids and all. Yeah. But now think about a guy who is, is an aspiring professional MMA fighter, which is what CM Punk's going to fight. The, how is he 36 36 36. well that was when uh, in his defense that's how old randy couture was when he started randy couture was an olympian the exception i mean he was an olympian we're we're not we're talking about a different beast yeah randy couture was one of the best wrestlers period yeah and uh, and and so and he had a background of extreme competition he boxed in the army of course Why, why play basketball every sunday can i mean lakers what's up you know right, <laughs> it's true, and, yeah. th- and that's I, that's I guess when I'm I'm very surprised that CM Punk. I don't think he realizes. I really don't think he realizes what it's like to get punched properly, to use the English expression, to take a proper punch by a by a professional fighter. Well, you know what it could be too. It could be that he needs money. You know, really? he's got. Yeah, I don't think it's that. What well, could be? I, and I do Here's know him thing. a little bit. I don't think it's that. But this is what I say. By needs money. I don't mean like he's broke. What I mean is like he's got a lot of money coming in. He's used to this. He's working for the WWE. I'm sure he makes a couple million bucks a year or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much he's making. It's a lot of money. 
And when you start making a lot of money, you, you get it. used to having that kind of money in it. And then you say, what are my options? Well, the UFC is willing to sign you. Hmm, let me think about this. You know what? Fuck, I'm going to fight in the UFC. And your girlfriend says, you could do it, baby. And the next thing you know, you're fucking rolling around with Henner and going for collar chokes and shit. And mm. what are you going to do? I mean, who knows? Gi Jiu-Jitsu is not the UFC, ladies well, and gentlemen. Yeah. I mean, so I'm sure he does some no gi. When you look at the UFC, you can say, well, it's, it's entertainment. It's more than entertainment. It, in my opinion, it's it's a it's a great sport at its peak, and that's how I feel about MMA. Because I think to be a good MMA fighter, and I've seen, I've watched what Brendan puts himself through. It just takes everything, everything, and that that's why I think that that area um, and what makes the UFC and what makes MMA so special at that level is detracted from. And I, maybe I'm being too much of a purist, and it's fine that he's fighting in there, but I just. I don't know. I just I don't like it. Well, it's different than Brock Lesnar because Brock Lesnar was a, a NCAA yeah. Division One All American yeah. National badass. Champion, super fucking stud wrestler. That's right, undeniable stud wrestler. Who they would have let him in the UFC if had zero um, experience in the WWE. But then he came over as a superstar already, like CM Punk, but way more dangerous. Oh, yeah. I mean, he and won, and he's did a, really well. It's not even comparable. Yeah, not even comparable. He's an elite, elite athlete. I mean, he right. he's a freak of nature. His fucking giant fire hydrant head, and his, you know, <laughs> he's got a fucking, he's got a horse neck. I mean, he's a he's, horse neck. He's yeah. a ridiculous human being. So he would have fought in the UFC no matter what. CM Punk, if if you took a guy who's is he a white belt in jujitsu? I think he's a white belt under Henner and Huron. Brandon, you might know. I mean, he's got a couple of stripes on his he, white belt. He never wears a belt. You know, so I've seen him wear a white belt. True. Well, he only puts on a white belt when he's at the academy Mm -hmm. because he doesn't train enough consistently. Like he trains when he's on the road or Henry go to him. So technically, we don't know what. So maybe he's a blue belt. Maybe he's a purple belt. Let's say he's a purple belt. Has he had any striking? He says he has a background in Kempo. That was his exact words. Well, that's that's huge. Is this CM Punk thing real? As in, he's going to be matched up with a real MMA fighter when he hasn't done any MMA. Um, he will probably fight someone who's like one and oh, oh and one, mm. oh and oh. He's is that uh, good for the sport? N- honestly, here's my take on it it's interesting because it gets people to watch, it's interesting because it gets a guy who's a very high profile, very famous guy, and you put him in, uh, you know, a situation where he's going to fight in the number one organization in the world. But should he be able to fight in the number one organization in the world in his first fight? Honestly, no. Yeah. He's in there because he's famous. It's a little so, insulting to guys who work their way up to the UFC in a way. I mean, kind you know. of, but on the flip side, it's a lot of attention that's going to be uh, shown to the UFC and yeah, it'll up the profile. Star. He's a huge star. Yeah, and but so that, is, he earned, I think, his right because of his celebrity status and the the eyes he could bring to the sport. He earned his right. See, to I give don't it agree a shot. with that. I mean, the reason I don't agree with that is because the, the UFC is a fighting organization where you go to see the most elite fighters in the world, and and that's what made its name, and that's why you love watching it. Who's the toughest dude in the world? And so when you have someone like CM Punk, who's now put in the octagon as a sideshow. You could say the same thing. If you're gonna if you're gonna put CM Punk, then let's get Brad Pitt in there, have him train and fight somebody else as well. There are a lot of actors that train, you know, and there are a lot of high profile profile people that train that aren't anyway close to professional fighters. Mm-hmm. And so for me, that's just how I feel about the octagon itself. It's just I just feel like and I understand there's a marketing aspect to it, but I do think in many ways it is it is somehow I don't and I think if you're going for popularity, then you're losing sight of what people tune into the UFC for. In yeah, but opinion. it's also like an eye opener. I mean, you, you take a guy like that and you throw him in there against a really good Muay Thai fighter and he gets fucking head <laughs> yeah. kicked. Yeah, but I mean, go, oh, it's called murder. This is the difference. They're not going to do that. They're not going to do that because you want that guy to win. Well, here's the deal. You want that following. guy to win. But when you have zero fights. Zero fights, no real wrestling background. Doesn't have a res- a real no like competitive no back- wrestling background. No. Doesn't have a competitive karate background. Doesn't have a competitive boxing background. Not a good sign. He doesn't have a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He doesn't have you know all these things are not there. So the reality is anyone who also has aspirations to be a professional MMA fighter, even a person who's zero and zero, they might be able to do that to him. 
You know, I know a lot of dudes who have zero professional fights. And you watch that motherfucker hit the pads. You watch some guy, to that bang, to that bang. No professional fights. Got a whip for a kick. Yeah. Vicious fucking left hook and yeah. a right hand. Oh, my brother would beat up half the WWE right now. <laughs> I bet. And he works for Microsoft. Yeah. He'd beat the shit out of half the WWE. Yeah. Well, think about Steroids that. Steroids and all. Yeah. But now think about a guy who is, is an aspiring professional MMA fighter, which is what CM Punk's going to fight. He's, how is he 36 36 37? well that was when Ra the, uh, in his defense that's how old randy couture was when he started randy his couture career. was an olympian the exception yeah. randy i mean he couture. was an olympian was well, we're not we're talking about wrestler. a different beast yeah randy couture was one of the best wrestlers period yeah and uh, and, and so and he had a background of extreme competition he boxed in the army like of course yeah. well, I, well, I play basketball every sunday can i mean lakers what's up you know right, <laughs> it's true. Really no good in something called the octagon. Well, it's okay if you're fucking Stephen Wonderboy sure. Thompson. Sure, he's you not. Know? If you're, uh, when, you get, you know, when I Yodo hear people Machida. say I have a background in Kempo, that's like me saying I got a background in wrestling. I do. Yeah. I wrestled in high school and I was good. Mm -hmm. I got a background in high school wrestling. I'm good. I can pull a switch. Got a mean, mean double and single. If I'm wrestling a guy who's of my caliber, who I sucks? Mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, come on. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what he's capable of doing. You know, but the guy has the balls to get in there at his high profile a status and fight on TV, on pay per view, or on Fox, or wherever the fight's going to be. It takes a lot of balls to do that, that, and he must have at least some uh, understanding of what it takes i mean i don't know i mean he doesn't know what weight he's gonna fight at he doesn't know what camp he's gonna train at i asked him a few of those questions when i was interviewing him my, I my advice was was for him was not to announce so soon train do a full camp without a fight and see how you feel and see how you stack up with even just some lower level amateur guys mm -hmm. or even a guy with one or two fights well, and then, also take and a couple take shots it, to and the then face. take it from there. Yeah, I don't know that some people know what it's like to get hit by a professional fighter in the face, even with headgear and a bar. He also doesn't know what it's like the being in the circus of the UFC. Right? There's no. Yeah, there's no. There's not going to be any amateur. You know, it's like it's you're in the UFC now. When they tell you to fight, you're going to fight. Well, I think they're going to give him. A, a, an opponent with a commensurate amount of experience. I think the idea is they're going to treat him like a, an individual project. So right. They're not going to say, you're a UFC fighter now. I mean, Michael Bisping offered to fight him, <laughs> which is kind of fucking hilarious. Michael Bisping would and murder rude. him. <laughs> yeah. It's rude. It's rude. If Michael what? Bisping, what is but he? I think Michael Bisping was probably laughing about it. I'll fight him. Bring him over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. I mean, he should fight. You know, be I a think good everyone opponent? wants to fight him. You know, it'd be a great yeah. opponent for him. Chris Angel. Chris Angel knows magic <laughs> and, and he does some Kung Fu. So let's get him to fight Chris Angel. I'll pay seriously good money for oh, that. It's tough for fight. me, man. Cause if, if he wasn't, you know, in the Gracie family, yeah, I would probably roast the guy pretty much. You'd be pretty opening rough. your mouth a little more. But right I'm, now. I'm being cool because I had him here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, I mean, you know, it's it's going to be it's it'll be interesting. I just don't know. I don't think it belongs in the UFC. I think it belongs in celebrity fights. It's you entertainment, know? though. Okay, but we got a new pink elephant. Yeah, but pink elephants in the UFC have always been skilled fighters. C Conor McGregor is a classic example of a guy who is a national champion. You're talking in boxing. about a different pink. Now you're talking about a pink elephant with gold earrings. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. CM Punk. He's, yeah. You can put. Ronda, uh, freaking your boy Connor, all them together, and CM Punk is more famous. He's that big. He's that. Yeah. The, that that's how beats. out of touch I am with yeah. pop culture. I never watched professional you know, I wrestling. I don't even like wrestling. I don't even know but who he is. I know who he is. All right, let's see how many Twitter followers he has. That's a, a good indication. <laughs> see, uh, okay, Punk. let's guess. It's like one, And I hear he's a great guy. I'd say he's right? awesome. I mean, he's awesome, a great dude. guy. Awesome, dude. Yeah. How many do you think I don't he has? 1.7 million. 1.7 million? Does he really have that many? That's a lot of Or a lot. I'd say at least 2.3 2 million. 2.3 million. 2 million Twitter so followers. So he has almost a million more Twitter followers than me. Jeez. He has more, he's more followers than the entire UFC. God. So you sign him. He beats up Billy Badass, who just got off Kinko's with a two-stripe white belt, and everyone's going to tune in. Yeah. You wouldn't sign him? I mean. If you're Dana White? I, I would have to have a conversation about what my brand is. I mean, I, I yes, I know I would not. The answer is I would not sign him, and I don't agree with the decision. 